All right, last time I asked you this problem right here. Uh, if we have two, this wire is not connected to anything, so I just won't leave it there. What we have hooked up here is, I'll, I'll just tell you, you could follow the wires if you wanted to, but I'll just tell you, we have a, a low voltage side of essentially a battery hooked up to one side of a light bulb. Uh, through the light bulb over to another light bulb over here and then from the light bulb to the high voltage side. So that looks a lot like, like this problem right here where this is the high voltage side, this is the low voltage side on the left. Low voltage side is hooked up to a light bulb, light bulb, bulb is hooked up to another one and the last one comes back to the high voltage side. So, because of, the ways ba because of the way batteries work, we talked about how batteries worked and you learned all about it in chemistry, I'm just going to point out that the high voltage side of a battery is the longer, uh, the longer line here. Battery is two parallel lines where one is definitely shorter than the other. The longer line is the high voltage side, the lower line is the low voltage side, if you go from left to right across this battery, your voltage goes up by whatever the voltage of the battery is, this little EMF of the battery. The word E, well, I'm not going to worry about why the word EMF is used right now. Yeah, I am. The word EMF is used because why do, a, the question of why electrons flow is not a question of voltages and resistances in a battery, it's a question of chemistry. It's because something else is going on. The reason we use the word EMF is because it's not just a voltage difference that's causing electrons to flow, in fact it's chemistry going on in the background. And so the voltage difference is not causing electrons to flow, but in fact the battery is causing the voltage difference. It's setting up a voltage difference, it's putting energy in. So if we pull that, almost all of you I think had the idea that if I unhook, which one was it? The one on the high voltage side I think. If I unhook one of these then the current stops flowing everywhere. So the other one goes out. So that's a, that's a, an issue of, of matter being conserved. If current goes through one of them and it, and it's the same current that goes through the other one, then if one of the currents goes to zero, they better both go to zero is one way to say it. Uh, another way to say it is these two bulbs are connected in series. Series means that the currents are the same. Current through one circuit element equals the current through another circuit element I don't know how to write this in a symbol, but I don't just mean that they happen to be equal. What I mean is there's no other answer except they're equal. It's not because you calculated this one and it turned out to be the same number as you calculated for this one. It's because the way the circuit is set up, any electrons going through here, any electrons going through this one left to right, are going to push all the electrons through here and are going to push the same number through the next one. So series circuits are ones that absolutely, because of the way they're connected, they have to have the same current between the two circuit elements. How about the battery? Does that have to have the same current as the other two? How many say yes? How many say no? I got to ask these questions uh, in, in uh, true and false, kind of. Um, that way I get an answer from everybody. Uh, yes, it does. 
there's only one loop here. So there's only one current. If I put other loops in, there may be other currents. Current is conserved. Current can get split by, at a junction, they can get split into two pieces. Uh, and, and so once you have more than one loop, the currents don't all have to be the same. And actually, once you have more than one loop, and here's more than one loop, once you have more than one loop, um, not only Um, not only do the currents not have to be the same, something else happens. The current through here, through the battery, current, by the way, we're, we define from positive to negative, so here's the positive side of the battery. Uh, current's going to flow out of here through there, and so it's going to be flowing counterclockwise around this picture right here. Um, there's another kind of connection, and the word for that is a parallel connection. If the left side of this light bulb is connected to the left side of the other one, because wires, just bare wires, have negligible resistance, the left side of this one is at the same voltage as the left side of that one. Voltages don't change along a bare wire. If I put a resistor in here, whoops, if I put a resistor in there, then that wouldn't be a bare wire connection all of the way. Sorry about that. That wouldn't be a bare wire connection all the way, so the voltages wouldn't have to be the same. But because the left side of this is connected to the left side of that, I did that right here. I connected one side of this bulb to one side of that bulb. I just plugged them into the same slot, connected them both to the high voltage side. And then I connected the other side of these two, and that's the center of this thing, to the low voltage side. So this one is, uh, is this circuit right here. And my question for you is, what happens if I take out one bulb? So there's a few choices for what happens to the other bulb. The bulb I take out, of course, is going to be dark because it's no longer connected to anything. But what happens to the one that's left behind? Talk about it all you want. <laughs> 